Lindsay. So today I'm going to be giving you a couple of different ideas or a couple of different ways to make money when you are a teenager. So the first way I have for you guys is to babysit and I know this is like a basic thing that everybody knows about but I just wanted to tell you guys that boys can babysit too because I have a lot of guy friends and they are like really good with kids and they'd probably be good at babysitting like same with my brother he's awesome with kids so he could probably babysit if he needed money and you get a lot of money from this and personally i think it's super fun because you know i'm just playing with kids and then i end up getting money so that's a good thing the second idea that i have is to do chores around your house and i know that a lot of people don't get paid to do chores in their house, so that's obviously why I have a lot more ideas. But you can either get paid weekly or monthly, or like daily, I've never really heard of that. But I get paid weekly and I just feel like it's a lot, I think that's a lot better personally um, for me. But you can get paid monthly or even yearly, just kidding. <laughs> That'd be really weird. The third thing I have for you guys is to walk people's dogs and you can also probably give them a bath. But this is a really good thing to do in the summer because it's just gonna be like super hot out and it's actually fun to walk dogs unless you're allergic and if you're allergic then obviously you don't wanna walk dogs because you're allergic and then you would die. No, you wouldn't die, but you know, you know what I mean. I think it'd probably be fun, like kind of like the babysitting thing. It's fun to walk dogs and then you end up getting paid, so that's good. The fourth thing I have for you guys is to have a garage sale or a yard sale. I've never really had one, so I can't tell you my experience, but I once went to my friend's and she was selling like a bunch of her, her bleh, bleh, a bunch of her old stuffed animals and stuff like that and she ended up making a lot of money from just sell from just selling them for like kind of cheap not cheap but you know not a lot of money which is good so it can add up pretty fast the fifth thing i have is to sell things on ebay and i know this can be kind of dangerous but i have kind of an idea so if you want if you're selling something that's like kind of big or kind of expensive i guess um you can just sell like a couple of cheap things first to kind of see who's out there and who wants it and so you make sure you don't get scammed or anything and then once you're ready you can probably sell the more expensive thing and if you're young obviously I'd have your parents help you because I mean everybody needs their parents when it comes to selling things on eBay. <laughs> the sixth thing I have for you guys is to take out people's trash and recycling to like a curb. It depends on like if you have a curb. <laughs> that sounds really weird but like I just take it up, like when I, at my house, I just take it up to like the front of the street or whatever, because our driveway is pretty long. So, yeah, but this is especially good for old people because obviously you know, they don't want to walk, and even if it's a short distance, it's hard to carry heavy things or it depends how much trash or recycling you have in your bins. But yeah, it's just good to do that for them. And also, this money can end up can end up adding up. No can end up adding up. Is that how you say it? I don't even know. But the money can end up adding up pretty fast. And um, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just good to help old older people. And I mean, any any person you can ask to take out their single. And I'll probably like pay like 25 cents. I mean, like, I know it seems like not a lot, but really once you do it a lot and if you get a lot of people's if you get a lot of people who want you to take out their recycling and trash, then it yeah adds up pretty fast, as I said before. And also, to kind of advertise this, you can, what can you do? Oh yeah, you can make like little signs and put it up in your like local coffee shop. And same goes for babysitting, I know I didn't say that before. Or you can make business cards and hand them out, so yeah. The seventh thing I have for you guys is to shovel snow for people, and this is also good for old people because it hurts their back if they show snow, or I'm not really sure, because obviously I'm not old, but um, I'm pretty sure it like hurts their back and stuff like that, and they don't really want to shuffle snow. But this also depends on where you live, because where I live, I get a lot of snow, so this would be helpful, but 
some places you don't really get that much snow. So yeah, it would kind of not be a good thing. It'd just, just be like, can I shovel this rain for you? But obviously, okay, that didn't make sense, but whatever. So the eighth and final thing I have for you guys is to tutor kids. And obviously if you're like younger watching this, like 10, which means you're not a teenager, but you can't really tutor kids. I mean, maybe, maybe, but I, I recommend doing this through school because I'm pretty sure it's illegal not to. I haven't really done much research about it, but I do recommend doing it through school and yeah, so basically just talk to your teachers and say like, hey, can I tutor? And obviously the parents, you can talk to the parents of the kids too. So I'm 13 and like I could tutor like a seven year old and I'd probably get paid a lot and Obviously, you wouldn't be tutoring like a kindergartner because they're probably not having much trouble at their age. But once the grade level starts to get older, then it starts to be a little bit more challenging for the kids and you can just help them. Like, you don't have to be the smartest person in the world because, like, it'd be easy for me to tutor a seven-year-old because it's just, like, easy stuff you know and stuff like that. So, obviously, there are a lot more ways to make money as, like, a teenager. But these are just a few of them, or eight, whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to comment down below. And maybe I'll make like a part two, episode two. Don't know what I'm gonna call it if I make it. But I will make something like that, hopefully. And if you have any video suggestions for me, make sure to comment them down below also. Because those are always, always, always helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <sighs> I just hit my finger. Just trying to make a thumbnail. Boom, 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 boom. Ow. I must just rip my money. That will be bad. Money don't rip. Oh, why did I kiss it? That's dummy. Don't kiss money. If you're like really young watching this, then sorry, kids, you can't tutor me. Um, <laughs> that sounds really weird. Oh my God, why did I say that? So obviously there are a lot of more ways to make money as a, I already made the thumbnail, so I'm pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's focused. If it's freaking not, then I'm just gonna use that and I'm not making it again because I'm forgetting the songs. Wait, it looks like it's focused.